G'day everyone and welcome to Who Wants To Be A Remote Guest with your host, Tim. With more and more people trying to connect to live video productions, we thought it would be a good idea to go over some quick tips on how to be the best remote guest that you can be. Firstly, let's take a look at equipment. As a basic recommendation, we suggest using a laptop or desktop computer for connecting to a video call. That can be a MacBook, Windows laptop, Surface, or a desktop computer. As vMix Call connects using a browser, we've found that browsers on these devices tend to be more stable and up to date. We recommend using the latest version of Chrome on them, although we'll link the description with a bunch of different other compatible browsers as this changes all the time. Laptops or desktops are also more physically stable, meaning that you're not going to be moving them around, which makes your video much more watchable. Now, I have seen people with their laptops walk around like this, and as you can see, it's a, a little bit unsettling trying to watch somebody uh, do their production like that, especially if they're on a phone and they're moving it around a lot. So please make sure that you have your laptop or your desktop uh, on a stable surface and not moving it around a lot. Not all of us have our sea legs. Laptops and desktops also give you the opportunity to easily add a higher quality USB webcam or microphone. The inbuilt ones usually work really well and they're simple to set up because they're on by default, but you can always make your video and audio better by using a like a cheap webcam or a microphone. So using like a Logitech or a Microsoft webcam like this one here, um, it's gonna give you some great uh, camera quality. Now using a USB microphone, like a blue microphone like this here, or a microphone like this here, USB microphone, it's gonna give you more clarity. Uh, it's gonna also allow you to bring your microphone a lot closer to your mouth like this. So that's what you want. Whereas if you've got it on your laptop, it may be a little bit further away and you're not gonna be as clear to people that are listening. Now, another tip uh, for a better quality microphone is to potentially use one that you have here, like on your headphones and earphones that have a microphone built into them. Which also brings me to headphones. Use headphones. Okay, so I'd let that sink in just a little bit because we always recommend that you use headphones if you can. If you're using speakers, the audio from your host can then feed back into your microphone, which then comes through with your audio as well into their production, which is not what you want. So you wanna make sure that you're using headphones. Doesn't matter what you use, you can pretend to be a DJ and use these type of headphones, in-ear headphones, um, whatever you wanna use. Now, a lot of people do use smaller headphones, uh, earphones like this, so in-ear ones that they can kind of feed around their ears so no one sees them. Um, you could always grow out your hair as well if you wanted to cover that up, or you could potentially wear a wig. Now, Bluetooth headphones can be a little bit tricky with sync um, using on a computer, but if you've got them working on your computer, then they should be okay. Now, if you wanted to take your video call production up a level, you could use a dedicated camera like a mirrorless or a DSLR and connect that up to a capture device. So then you can connect up that video into your browser so you've got really good quality. Again, you could also use a dedicated microphone as well and just make that the audio source on your browser. Now the ultimate level for a video call production would be to use vMix with all of your studio gear and all of your professional equipment to send your output to your host. So if I'm connecting to a vMix call for an interview, I use this exact shot here. Uh, I can send through my pro camera, my awesome microphone uh, in full HD. So if you are connecting vMix to vMix, it actually allows you to send higher quality than if you're just using the web browser with vMix call. Now, if you are forced to use a mobile phone, iOS with Safari will give you a better quality than an Android device. Please keep your phone on a stable surface. I just can't handle seeing people walking around like this going, hey guys, it's great to be on your show. And it's like, what are you doing? I just don't quite understand it. Uh, maybe use something like a pop socket or prop up your phone so that you can sit it on your desk or a table and you're not moving it around. Unless you're doing some sort of boat simulator live stream, then maybe go for it. But do your best to keep it on a stable surface. Now, the final thing to remember with equipment is make sure that it's plugged in or fully charged, especially your laptop. Try and make sure that it is plugged into power. Sometimes with laptops, they go into power saving mode or they turn off if they don't have enough power and all that kind of thing. So make sure it's plugged in. Internet bandwidth. Now, if you're connecting to a video call, you wanna make sure that you have at least a five megabit upload connection. Now, some people might see this as underwhelming. 
Some people might see this as overwhelming. We think it's about right on the whelming scale. Ideally, you'd want more than five megabit, maybe 10, 20, 50, 100 megabit if you can, uh, just so that you've got plenty of headroom. Now, this is one of the more important things. So you can do plenty of tests like a, a network test, a speed test to see how much upload speeds your connection is capable of. Now, you wanna kick everyone else off your network so they're not hogging up your bandwidth. You don't want someone on your network streaming 4K Netflix or uploading their latest prank videos to YouTube. Now, I'm also a fan of using wired internet over Wi-Fi just to guarantee your best connection. So on whatever device you're using, your MacBook, your laptop, your Surface, make sure that you don't have other browsers open, other tabs open. You're not watching the live stream of the live stream. You're not downloading Netflix. You're not trying to download Windows updates while you're on a video call. You wanna have the best connection possible. Now let's talk about location. For video, make sure that you're in a location that provides a nice backdrop. Sometimes you might need to be a little bit creative, but everyone should have a place that can provide a non-distracting background. Also, try to make sure that you're well lit from the front. Sitting in front of a bright window isn't going to be the way to do it. It's gonna make you look dull and nobody wants to look dull. So make sure that you're lit from the front and not from the back. Now for your audio location, try to avoid noisy and echoey places. Locations like toilets and garages are probably not gonna be the best place to do a video call from. Carpeted areas that provide some sound masking or sound deadening are always a good spot and going to be better than something like a tiled area. Anywhere where you can manage your audio and not be outside or near a loud window or something, that's going to be your best bet. Now it's also really good if you can be in a room, lock the door uh, in order to prevent dogs, family members, and bees from getting in and causing a fuss. Camera position. Now one thing that I keep seeing is the inside of people's noses. Is that a new fad? Now, I'm not all that self-confident about the inside of my nose. So I like to make sure that I frame my shot. So ideally, you'll wanna keep your camera at eye level like I have here, and you wanna do your best to fill out the frame vertically as well. Now, this is why it's important to be able to have like a stable camera position on your laptop or a tripod so that you can properly frame yourself. Now a tripod like I have here with my, uh, my little webcam, now that works really well, uh, but sometimes if you're stuck, I've used an ironing board before or a shelf, something with a stable flat uh, area that you can put your laptop or your camera on to achieve that eye level. It's always important to be looking down the camera and not up someone's nose like so. So I apologize for doing that. Another tip is if your microphone is in front of you, try and speak at the microphone. So as you can see here, I've got a microphone right in front of me. This is a shotgun mic for my production. If I start turning away like this, like I have been in this tutorial, it's hard to hear what I'm saying. So if you've got a webcam set up like this on your computer, try and speak at your webcam, which has the microphone next to it so that people can hear you loud and clear. Preparation. So your host should provide you with a vMix call password with plenty of time before your call. Be sure to try and do a full run through with them to test out all of your equipment. Do your best to set everything up exactly how you would for your upcoming call. Now you might need to troubleshoot some things, so that's why you might need some time to prepare. So things like making sure that your browser connect properly uh, or making any adjustments to your firewall or disabling a dodgy third-party scanner, these are some things that you might need to keep in mind. So there'll be some links in the description for troubleshooting on those things. During the show, so try and give your host your undivided attention Try not to be multitasking with 40 programs open on your computer that might be distracting you. Try not to have people running around and doing other things. So do your best to look at the camera directly uh, and not at your own screen. So make sure you're looking directly at the camera. Now, this might be a little bit difficult if, you're, if your laptop is a little bit further away than your camera. So just do your best to look at the camera as much as possible. Another important thing is to act like your microphone is on all the time. So if you're in a video call with someone, pretend like everyone can hear you because they probably can. So make sure that you save your colorful language, your coughing and your spluttering and all that kind of stuff and your Britney Spears impersonation for later on when you're not on a video call and being live streamed to hundreds of thousands of people. The experience. So now we're going to go over the experience of connecting to a browser with vMix Call. So we do have a much longer video about how to connect with different devices linked in the description below. So I'm just gonna jump over to my laptop here. Now I've got the latest version of Chrome opened. I've gone to vmixcall.com and I have entered my name and the password from my host and then click join call. 
So the first thing that you'll see up the top is a little box that says, do you want vmixcall.com to use your microphone and your camera? So you wanna click allow on that. Then you'll see the camera turn on on my laptop here. The host is connected in the middle here. So this is what's being sent from my host. And in the top corner here, that is my webcam that's connected up through in my browser. Now I can select this and move it around. So that's the preview of my camera. Down the bottom, I can disconnect the call. I can mute my camera, mute my audio. I can remove the preview. I can make it full screen and then I can change the, uh, move the chat window or type in the chat window down there. So that's just a, a really quick overview of how it all works. It's very simple and straightforward. Uh, again, we have some more information in the description if you wanna know just a little bit more about it. Now up the top corner here, you'll see this little camera icon and you're actually able to go in there and make changes to your camera and your microphone by clicking manage. So if you wanted to switch the webcam, you could do that there, but I'll link some more information in the description. So as you can see now, I can bring that into my production. So this is my webcam right here coming into the production via vMix call. The end. So if you have some other great tips on being a remote guest, I'd love to hear about them. So chuck them in the comments. So the next time I write an email to someone about how to be a remote guest, I'll add your tip to the list. So as a really quick recap, I recommend using a laptop or desktop if you can, add a better webcam or microphone if you have one lying around and use headphones. Use a reliable internet source. Make sure that you're sitting somewhere with a nice or plain backdrop without any distracting noises around. Make sure that you test everything before you start the show. And finally, try and give your host your undivided attention. Now, if you have any questions about vMix or vMix Call, drop us an email via the contact page on vMix.com as it's impossible to run diagnostics on your machine via YouTube comments. So thanks for watching and we'll stream you later. Thanks for watching. Click to watch another exciting vMix video or head to vMix.com for a free 60-day trial. See you later.